How's it going guys? Uh, today at Taco Vinyl, we're gonna be installing for the 2003 to 2006 Toyota Tundra. In each of our boxes, uh, the box that you guys received, you're gonna get a full grill uh, that is gonna completely, it's a direct replacement for the stock one. Okay, inside the box, you'll also get four screws for mounting the appropriate insert and then um, mounting hardware that will be applied to the back side of the grill so that the grill can be installed on the truck. We're gonna pre-assemble the grill, get this thing all ready, and then we're gonna jump on the truck, take off the stock one, and swap them out. For this install, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter deep socket, and a ratchet or some sort of open-ended, but 10 mil. And then you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, first we're gonna work on uh, installing the posts for with which the grill will be mounted. There's these mounting points, six of them, on the um, surrounding of the grill. These things go in just like such, and they'll pop right into place. Got your six posts in. Now, that, now you're gonna install your insert. You can get these inserts colored, uh, all black, um, on our website, so you don't have to go with the standard gray one. We will also be offering them in a color matched version, like this, so the letters will be the same color. Um, these grills kind of update the truck a little bit. We will be offering them in a color matched version, because in these older vehicles, some of the trim pieces were color matched. Um, depending on the trim model. So we will also be offering this in such a fashion as well. So then with your Phillips, you're gonna install your insert. Boom. Our grill is ready to go. Now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna jump on the vehicle. Pull towards you, comes up. Okay, grill is actually assembled to the hood. On the back side, you're gonna see those six posts and then the latch that we're gonna be transferring onto the new grill. So the first step is we're gonna uh, leave the latch connected right here, but we're gonna disconnect it up here. What you're gonna wanna do is press this pin. Ugh. off of the, the rod, like that, press it away, then this thing will just come out, just like that, and now your latch is free. Now we just need to do the ten, uh, the six tin mills, and the whole grill will, will release. Cool, we got our six bolts, or our six nuts off. Now the grill is just a simple lift off and we're good to go. There is one piece that is rather challenging to remove and remount. Some of them are they're so deteriorated that, uh, deteriorated that they won't even, um, you won't be able to pull these off. We got lucky on this one. It actually came off, it was missing part of it, but thus it came off. I have this little trim piece. We'll set that aside, pull this back in here. Okay, we need to remove this latch. You're gonna use your 10 millimeter again. Pull out that hardware. The whole latch will come off. Be careful uh, to not break any of these plastic clips. And then literally just how it was mounted here, we're gonna transfer it and mount it onto the new grill. Okay, so you're gonna use the, the 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure this thing's all seated properly. Okay, we're gonna get both of them threaded. Always hand thread everything before you use a hand tool. So 
so that you don't strip it. Uh, might need more. There we go. That was good. So, with this piece, what we're going to do, we're going to get this thing cleaned off really well. Um, let's grab some alcohol and a rag and then some sort of adhesive. We have an adhesive styled 3M that's very, very thin, I'll show you guys, that we're gonna reapply to the back end of this and then apply it, it then onto the, the new grill. Okay, so first I'm gonna add just a little bit of a degreaser. This is the 3M VH, VHB. It's super, super thin. Um, just because removing the old stuff um, ruins it, um, unless you just take the time to pick it all off best to do is to clean it all off to where it still uh, it becomes a slightly tacky again and then we're gonna apply some ultra thin stuff like this what you want to do my three ends a little bit thicker which is all right um, we're gonna cut it off and then uh, you want to follow exactly where that line is from the previous adhesive reapply pressure over where the VHB tape has, is now set on the new. Spray a little bit of alcohol on a rag and wipe the back side of that spot. We wanna make sure nothing, no oil or residues on there. Now this one did break on this side not on the grill so this thing should probably be about that much longer on this side that's okay this is what we have to work with with the age of the vehicle which is perfectly fine now this is gonna lay right here we're gonna do a little preliminary lay and then you can see this is gonna curve and then touch down right there so we're gonna start on this side and apply that way what this trim piece does is prevents the grill from etching into the paint itself, being that it's plastic to metal on the front. Okay, the whole time I was using the uh, front lip of the, uh, there's like a little there's like the flat part and then there's like a, a ledge that kind of hooks over the edge just slightly uh, to give that trim piece kind of a, a guidance when you're laying it down if you cho uh, choose to do so. So now that we get that all on, um, the other thing that I would test before you install, just make sure your screws are in good, good working order and that they're gonna fit on the posts. And that the posts don't have any defects and then you get halfway through and have to undo all of them. Kick the grill over. Let's get it installed. We got a straggler. Okay, so on this part, I'd be careful. Uh, you don't want to go too far on your tightening. Okay, last part of the install is getting the rod. And then you're gonna snap that back up. Oh, fingers. I'm not a strong man, you guys. I'm not a strong person. There we go. 
then double check your last work which it works great and there's your final product thanks guys for tuning in uh, I hope this install video for our 2000-2002 Tundra Pro Grills helps you guys in your purchase and then in the installation of being able uh, to put these grills in uh, simply. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email at support at or shoot us a call. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, give this video a like.